In the wild, there's only one code and one rule, and that is the strong shall survive and the weak shall perish. The longevity of any species depends on their ability to adapt and defend. In today's video, the Paracromus dovi versus the Amphilophus trimax. What's up guys, it's your boy Scott McKean, Queen Cichlids, bringing you yet another new video. Now, it is 2020 and I am so excited about this year and all the things that uh, I have planned for me to bring to you guys. Plus, we have a lot of fish events and store shops we're going to be going on to. It's going to be just another fun-filled year and I hope you guys will enjoy us. As I said before in my previous videos, there are so many things happening in these tanks these days that I have just a ton of material right here that I can video record and, and show you guys and talk about. I, I think you guys will really enjoy some of the fascinating things that are happening in this fish tank. None more so than this Paracromus dovi pair. Now, not the big one behind me. No, not that one. But it's the one that I took out of my garage because I was having those electrical problems and I needed to move some fish around. This Paracromus pair have spawned and have free swimming fry and how they are protecting their fry is absolutely fascinating. Now, I have them in a 150 gallon tank, six foot long tank with a divider in it. And on the other side of the divider is an Amphilophus trimax, a truly beautiful, large, aggressive cichlid. Now, the Paracromus family and the Amphilophus family are both Central American cichlids and can be both found in the same lakes in Central America. So, what you're about to see, you could probably see in the wild as well. But I think it's really cool to see the behavior of the Paracromus dovi, how they protect their fry, and more importantly, how the female has taken over and is making the male protect their territory while she watches over the fry. So first things first, let's take a look at the Paracromus dovi pair and their free swimming fry. I want you to pay close attention to how the male looks because the male has really been beaten up and we're gonna talk about that as soon as we get back. Despite getting fed on a regular basis, the Amphilophus trimax knows a tasty meal when he sees it. None more tastier than a flock of fry from a Paracromus dovi. The dovi female is aware that her fry are a tasty treat for the trimax as well and pushes her male to defend the territory herself and the fry. It's fascinating to watch the female tend to her fry while the male tends to the threat. This pair works well together. The female dovi nervously fans her fins to let her fry know that danger is near. Meanwhile, the male dovi continues to confront the Amphilophus trimax, making him aware that this will not be any easy task to get to his fry, his female, or in his territory. This pair works well together. Alright guys, we are back. So how incredibly cool was that to see the male and the female working together to take care of their fry. But more importantly for me, I'm a little concerned about the Paracromus male. Uh, the female has really been aggressive with him uh, and his fins are really tore up, tore up to the point where I'm really thinking about pulling him out of his tank and putting him in a separate tank to give him time to heal, de-stress, and, and get his wits about him again because a female has been non-stop uh, chasing him, pecking him, trying to push him to where she feels threats are at so he can go over there and protect their territory and the fry. Um, it is a common theme or it's common 
with these type of aggressive parachromous pairs that the male may kill, kill the female or the female may kill the male. It happens uh, and you'll hear people talk about it all the time. That's why it's important as hobbyists to always keep your eye on your parachromous pair and to make sure one's not getting too aggressive with the other one. In this case it is happening and I have to do something fairly quickly about it because this male in my opinion is not going to make it if she continues to just be this aggressive with him. Now you and I know that that Parachromus pair or that Amphilophus trimax cannot get past that divider but they don't know that and as long as they can see that Amphilophus trimax there they see it as a threat and as long as they see that threat this female is going to continue to be aggressive with the male trying to push him to the, where the threat's at and to take care of their fry and to protect their territory. So I have to do something about that. Uh, I could pull the male out and that's a last resort situation for me. Uh, I've kept Parachromas pairs for years. Jaguars, Dovis, Red Tiger Motos, Frederick Stallii, Lazelli. I've kept them all. And one thing, when you pull one out and leave the other one in, sometimes that causes a negative reaction. Uh, the fish that you leave in with the male or the female that you leave in with a fry will sometimes eat the fry or go berserk or get really stressed out because they feel like they can't protect the fry and do all the other things they need to do. Uh, so that's my last resort to pull the male out at this point. What I need to do and what I hope to do is cover up the line of sight so that the Amphilophus, Amphilophus Trimax can't see the Dovi pair and that fry that he thinks is going to be a really nice snack and the Parachromus Dovi can't see the Amphilophus Trimax which is a threat. Uh, now I could pull the divider out and, and color it up so that they couldn't see through it but I really like the divider being crystal clear and, and, and you can see through it. Uh, so my thought is I'm going to take some of these silk plants that I have left over from my last trip to uh, Hobby Lobby and I'm going to try to cover up the divider so that they can't see one another. Alright, so let's go. Well, I'm going to show you some footage of me putting the plants in and let's see if it works. Come on guys. Also guys, one other thing I wanted to mention was you saw this uh, in the tanks with the Dovi Fry. This I got from Hobby Lobby. It's like a square mat and then I cut it up and then I put it in the substrate and it actually looks very, very real like the grass uh, that you might find in uh, some aquascape tanks that come in those cups. I fool a lot of people a lot of times with this uh, plastic mat plant uh, just by simply putting sand and rocks around it. But not only for the, the overall look, the Dovi Fry and, and any of my cichlid fry, it's kind of like guppy grass. They find a lot of protection staying in these uh, areas of this plastic plant um, and it's absolutely great coverage especially like when the male decides that all of a sudden he's tired of the fry and he wants to chew them up uh, I have gotten tons of protection from fry being able to stay in these mats so just wanted to show you these mats uh, I don't have a full sheet that I haven't cut so I'm showing you this one and again you can find these really cool things at Hobby Lobby alright back to the Dovi pair Okay guys, here I am being very particular and careful with this Amphilophus Trimax because he will bite at any given moment. I found some very viney plastic plants that I think will work well as a barrier between this uh, border that I have up here and it should help keep the Amphilophus Trimax and the Dovi for that matter uh, from seeing each other careful there Scott he is absolutely watching your hand and wanting to bite it so here you can see a better look uh, I actually have two of these plants one on one side and one on the other side of the divider uh, and as you can see it not only causes a bigger barrier but it absolutely breaks the line of sight 
between the Trimax and the Dovi, which is exactly what I've been looking for. Here's a side view, and again, you cannot even see the Trimax anymore because of the dense plastic vine plants. So I'm hopeful that this will solve our issues. All right, guys, how cool was that? I mean, even in with my hand in the tank trying to put the plants in, that Amphilophus Trimax was ready to uh, take a bite out of me. Uh, they are no joke. They are really an incredible cichlid, and I plan on doing an entire spotlight on the Amphilophus Trimax real soon because I think they deserve it. They are a really spectacular cichlid and I don't see a lot of people with them so I uh, definitely want to do a video about the Amphilophus Trimax. Now since I put the plants in, the artificial silk plants, I am seeing a difference. Uh, they can't see one another <clears throat> and the threat seems to be gone, at least for the female. She's not taking it out on the male as much anymore and I think this is actually going to work. So I'm going to watch them still for the next couple of days and see if the aggression from the female subsides. And if it does, I'm going to consider this a huge success. Um, if it doesn't work, I am going to have to just pull that male out and give him time to heal because I'm more concerned about losing the male than I am the fry. I, uh, what's really cool is each pair that I have is different. Like I have two pairs of Paracromus dovi. This pair that we just spotlighted, the female is the aggressor, she's the boss, and she pushes that male around. Now if you go back to this pair behind us, where my male dovi is about 20 inches long and the female is about 6 inches long, the male is definitely the boss. He chases the female around to make sure that she's staying with her fry, and anytime he sees her leave the fry, the male will chase after her and get her back in a spot where she's with the fry. Uh, I guess it just really depends on your pair and how they work it all out uh, when they're breeding, but I I've seen it go both ways where the male's the, the lead or when I've seen it where the female's the lead. So it's really interesting to see this whole thing transpire and take place. It's, it's just absolutely cool. Um, Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, leave your comments below if you have any thoughts or if you experienced the same thing. Uh, Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and if you didn't enjoy it, leave me comments below so I know what I can do to improve your experience at Cane Queen Cichlids. If you are not subscribed to my channel, certainly consider it. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Look at my videos from previous months, and if it's something that you enjoy, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you as a member of the King Queen Cichlid channel. Now don't forget this Saturday Liz and I will be doing a live stream Saturday at 7 o'clock Eastern PM. Uh, we haven't streamed in about 10 days so we have a lot to go over, a lot to say and I hope you guys will come out in swarms and uh, come to our live stream and have a lot of fun. Alright guys thanks so much for viewing I really appreciate it and I will catch you guys later. Bye bye. King and the Queen, smash like for the King and the Queen, subscribe to the King and the Queen, cause they all about fish, if you know what I mean, come through, it's the King and the Queen, smash like for the King and the Queen, subscribe to the King and the Queen, cause they all about fish, if you know what I mean, yeah, come through, it's the King and the Queen, smash like for the King and the Queen.